have no clue what we're doing here. No, neither do I. Just like in university. What are we doing there? <laughs> Hi there, everyone. So today I'm here with my friend Lucy Moon. Hello. And today I wanted to talk about the interesting differences between universities in the UK versus America. Because I feel like there's so many huge differences and there's things that I don't know about British university culture because I only went for a master's degree. And Lucy, coincidentally, goes to one. I'm at SOAS, which is in central, central London, and I do history. SOAS, what do you study? SOAS. History of the world. Yeah, I do Asia and Africa and predominantly India. See, I just learned American history. And then I learned American history too. <laughs> the Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> first off, my first two years I spent at a community college in America. Do you know what that is? Um, I think it's where you go when you don't get into like Ivy League. Do you know what you do at a community college then? You catch up with the really smart people? Um, <laughs> no, because I mean I got scholarships to go to a community college. It wasn't like a catch up. For the most part, it's the cheapest college you can go to so if you don't have a huge amount of money to spend 30 grand a year on tuition mm. at a state school not an ivy league just any any uh, university then you go to a community college what you learn there is all the basic courses that you could take at the state one for instance i learned western civilization psychology sociology english 1 102 speech all that stuff and does everyone who teaches you have a phd no um usually they do it all state schools but at community colleges they usually just have master's degrees so okay. they're not usually the best. Sometimes you get a doctorate, but most of the time. Just, yeah. So my first two years were free at community college because I had a lot of scholarships. And then my next two, I had to pay 12 grand in tuition every year. So, yeah. 12 grand. 12 grand a year. And that's very cheap. I went to the Walmart of universities. So, like, if I'd gone to any other place, I know Boston University was like 50 grand a year. I like the Trader Joe. Yeah. <laughs> The Trader Joe's. I went to a Whole Foods University. <laughs> oh, okay. Pretty much every university in the UK is nine grand a year, and then some are six grand a year, but they're the bad ones. Like, you wouldn't pay to go there. But you guys don't even have to pay back in time. You can pay whenever you want. I've heard, like, oh, you're not making enough money? Uh, That's okay. There's not even that much interest. Just have a nice life. The problem with it is that they're probably gonna sell off the loans to actual private companies soon. So it'll be like America soon. Yeah. Oh no. So at the moment it's like, oh no, you have to be earning a reasonable salary. That's fine. It all gets wiped when you're 50. Yeah. But I bet you by the time I'm 30, you're I'm gonna, gonna be owing a, a lot of interest. How much did your books cost you when you had to buy books for school? I've never had to buy a book for school. I hate you. You know how expensive my <laughs> physics book was? $300. Who pays for that? Me! Where from? No one has that money. Know. The physics book was $300, and then my linear algebra course was like $200, and like one semester, six months courses, is probably like off about $1,000. And one semester? One semester. And like you can try and get around oh. it by like going to school the first day, or going to uni, and hoping that someone else has it and making a friend and be like, oh yeah, nice book. Do you want to like let me use that? Otherwise, you just spend so much money. It's terrible and what they do is they specifically will make you get the next edition because every edition every year they come up with a new book so that you can't use the old one by changing all the oh problems around my God, so the teacher says so do problem 40 if you have the old edition not the right problem you'll get the problem wrong you'll get no points so you literally have to spend the money it's really annoying right. capitalism <laughs> <laughs> please can we just make that a ringtone like, capitalism, capitalism. <laughs> I mean, when I went to England for my master's, they gave me nine little paperback books which had problems in them and there was all my coursework. And I was like, oh, how much do I have to pay for this? Like, I genuinely asked someone that and they laughed at me. And I was like, oh. A public school is a private school here. But we also call them private schools. What? <laughs> I don't know. I... Everything is school in America. So if I'm going to university, I'm going to school. If I'm going to college, I'm going to school. Was your master's only one year? Yeah, which is great because in America, the master's is six years. Um, of course, the, I already what? had a bachelor's, that's why my master's was in here. In a bachelor's degree, you don't have to write a dissertation. No, I just had to take a course where I had to like research something in mathematics. For instance, it's a, I was a math major, so I'm not going to write much. Mm -hmm. But I had to like research some cool thing and write a big old paper about it, but it wasn't anything new. Pretty much every humanities bachelor, you have to write between 10,000 and 14,000 words in your final year on top of your other essays. That's not fun. And if you don't write it, you don't get your thing. And that gets graded, and that's what a lot of your final grade is based on. And it has to include independent research. Ours, I had one of those for my master's in England, um, except it was not that long. I waited till the day before to start it. 
because they told me to pass, you just need over 50%. And I was like, that's so easy. Oh my God. So I literally started the night before, finished it, got a 52, passed. No stress. Oh my God, that's literally like my <laughs> worst nightmare. We go to university with one specific subject in mind. Mm -hmm. We do that subject entirely pretty much. Yeah, whereas and then I graduate. Used to do all these things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do everything, surely. Yeah, well, that you kind of have to. Like, you cannot graduate with a maths degree in New Jersey without taking three different English courses, three writing courses, uh, history courses, sociology. You've already done that for like eighteen years. No, you haven't. Years. It's America. So you haven't studied English. For oh no, you have. Years. But the thing is, everybody's high schools are different. You could have struggled through, and they still passed you. But when you get to university, that's where it's like, no one's babying you anymore. It's time to actually learn English. No lie, my English 101 class in college, my first year, she taught us what a subject and predicate was. I don't actually know what that is. <laughs> oh my God. What is a sorority? Why do people go to them? In addition, mm -hmm. why are they so mean? Well, they're not mean. You only hear about fraternities and sororities doing horrible things. Well, that's because horrible stuff is in the news. They also have brotherhood, which is what fraternity stands for. Sorority, sisterhood. I know a lot of really nice people that are sisters and have bigs and littles and they like care for each other. Like for instance, you would go to this sorority. Oh no, you'd be assigned a big. And this would be like a senior in the sorority who okay. would like look after you as a fresher and be like, oh hey, yeah. And she'd like always make sure you were doing well. And it's nice to have someone have your back. But you have to pay for that. Like, you, you pay to be in the sorority, so it's like... Why would you bother? It's really hard when you go to university and you don't have any friends if you're in a new area. You're paying for your friends! You're paying for the opportunity to make friends very easily, yes. It, it helps jumpstart you and make you social. I didn't do it. I didn't... I wasn't in the fraternity or anything. But I, I understand it. Okay, you just... Everyone makes friends. That's because like... you guys can drink. <laughs> we can't legally drink until our senior year of uh, But everyone university. drinks, don't they? You, not really, like if you get caught, I remember at my university, uh, if you had four people in your accommodation and one of them was under 21, none of them could drink. Completely not allowed. And if any alcohol was found in the flat, everyone gets written What up. was your application to college like? Because for us, you have to go through UCAS, you have to go through oh, the big GCSEs, right? No, no, you do your GCSEs, mm -hmm. you pass those, okay. they're like your SATs, mm -hmm. and then you do A-levels, and whilst you're doing your A-levels, you apply to university through this system called UCAS. And it's a centralized system. You all have to write um, a personal statement. Mm -hmm. You have to get oh, references yeah. from all your teachers. You probably went through it. I had to masters. write, no, no, I, oh yeah, I did, I did, I did, yeah. But for my bachelor's, I had to like apply to the university and I had to write them a personal statement, but you have to do it in a creative writing way. So you can't just be like, this is why I want to join. You have to make a story and kind of have it represent who you are and your values. You're a maths major. Yeah, but they don't care about that. They just want to know that you're good at writing and you can, I don't know, they'd want you. No. I just realized, I didn't, I didn't write about math at all. For us, it's like, your personal statement is, explain why you want to do your subject and why you, oh. what work you've done before that. So that makes a lot of sense. You can't get into a, into a university on a subject if you have no experience in it. So you have to have read books about it. You have to have like done work what? experience in it. So you have oh. to know about it. That um, that somewhat makes sense. But then again, university in America isn't just that subject. It's everything. So do you have to pay as well to apply? Yeah, but I mean, it's like the stupidest. Pounds, I know, but it's annoying as a person with lo not a lot of money to be like, oh yeah, I want to apply to all these universities. Yeah. But I don't want to pay. One of them was like $150 I applied to. That's ridiculous. You shouldn't have to pay individually. So when it comes to student accommodations, like, are they provided by the school? The were really cheap, I think, when you live in campus housing. It's like, oh, relatively yeah. cheap. You have to live with three people, like, in the same room. Literally. What? Yeah, when you're a freshman, you have two bunk beds and then someone else. So there's three people. Sometimes it's two, but sometimes it's three people in the same room. How do you get space? You don't. You learn how to keep your own little space and make it so that no one can hear you cry. Well, masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can think of. Do you have a student union? Yes. You mean like class president, class secretary? Because mm. we have that. Yes, but like a building where you go. We have loads of guest speakers come in and do talks. So a lot of people go to those in the evenings, like um, stuff about ISIS or stuff about. Um... Doesn't sound fun. Oh, that that's sounds so like learning. Interesting. Yeah, it's learning. I'm not at university to learn them. <laughs> I'm at university to party. Like, the students' union mm -hmm. is a really big part of your student life. It's independent of the university. Oh. 
and it's kind of like a non-profit organization so they all raise money and host stuff and that's where all the societies are so like hummus society and rugby society hummus? yeah i was part Guys of just eat hummus we made different types of hummus it was amazing Evan. i so want this. that we we had yeah in america we had the same type of thing where if for an entire year you get like a, 10 people to your club at least and you get meetings and a set, you have everything planned the school will actually fund you and yeah. if you ask for money for things, they'll help you out and you have to do at least two charities a year and you have to like do this stuff. It's pretty oh, cool. Oh wow, that's I quite intense. I was the founding member of the math club. <laughs> the <laughs> Evan I didn't know and the Evan <laughs> I know now are very different people. You guys had riots, didn't you? Oh so yeah. Yeah, not even just in so What was it over? I just want to compare. What did your university ride over it and what did mine? Because I know what mine is. Okay, ours was that lots of the teachers hadn't had a pay rise in nine years. That was oh. one of them. So and the students rioted? Yeah, and the teachers. Nice. We rioted because Osama bin Laden was shot, so we were really happy. And um, the entire university went crazy at one in the morning, one to four. There was a parade going on the university, people going like, F Osama, America, Amer USA, like literally just chanting oh, USA. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. <laughs> they had, the cops had to intervene because everyone was just dr drunkenly walking around spouting USA and possibly damaging accommodations. Was everyone at your university American, like oh, the, born and bred? I think at my university, it was ridiculously New Jersey based. Like no one goes to Rowan University that's not New Jersey because everyone else has a better university to go to. Well, my, the university I went to was rated in the top 10 ugliest universities in the United States. Oh wow. I didn't know it was ugly until I went to a really pretty one in Pennsylvania and I went, whoa, it's so pretty. Is this how it's supposed to be? Oh, this is really multicultural. So all the unis in London mm -hmm. and a lot of international students go to like all the big universities. What's that group called? The Russell Group. All the Russell Group unis are like full of international students. What's the Russell Group? So, is that like the Ivy League? Yes, it's like the Ivy League. Yeah, good work. When you were a kid, okay. do you like dream of going to university? Yes. Like did your parents kind of put that behind you? Yeah. yeah. My parents were like, you have to go to university. You have to. That's like the American dream, you know. Go to university, go into debt, cry, make a huge amount of money, profit. <laughs> Capitalism. Capitalism. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of people don't think they need university. That's fine if you're going to a trade or if you're going to something. Mm. But if you, it, it was a great opportunity for me to make new friends that I'm no longer acquainted with. Um, you know, I learned a lot and Can I got a good job a out of it. We have a moment of silence in that and we, we just look into the distance again. Where are they? Super. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends on Facebook. I think like one might have liked one of my statuses on the other day. Facebook. Did you know I used to be an RA? What's an RA? I'm residence assistant. I think of it as responsible adult. I was a responsible adult. I had to kind of be the mentor for the 48 people on my block of apartments. And I had to make sure that they weren't drinking. Were you paid for this? Yeah, that they paid for my accommodation, basically. Okay. So That's I got bad. free accommodation for an entire year just to be the RA, which I think is nice, except there's a lot of safe sex talk from RAs that are really cringy, where they're like, so guys, just so you know, like, Here's a condom, and if you ever need condoms, you can come into my flat, just knock on the door, I've got a bowl of condoms for you guys, I want you to be safe. Oh and that makes me uncomfortable. I know it's great, but I'm like, uh. It's really interesting, because when you're at college, mm -hmm. as Americans, you're treated like you're young. Yeah. Whereas we're treated like we're adults. Really? And so if we're not paying our bills right, the council will come over, like, you know, if you'll get evicted, like, yeah. there's no discussion about, you're an adult now, whereas you guys are still children. Well, we're not children. We're in that stage where we don't know what we are. I've never got above 65 on an exam at uni. Really? Yeah. I've gotten 100 on exams before. Some teachers won't mark you above a 70 until you're a master's student. That is isn't fair. Is the first. That yeah, they're doesn't, like, you're not capable For me, it. like, as a math student, I think I got 30% right for this and this and this. I deserve a 100%. There's nothing wrong. But I guess in the humanities, you just be like, I hate her haircut. 70. If you get a first, it means you're great. And if you get a tutu, it means like, fast. You can dance. Because you're wearing a tutu. That is the first <laughs> pun you've made in this entire video. Where have the puns been? Listen, man, we're can just having a you chat. You guys do pot. You specifically, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that just about covers everything. I found that very interesting. Yeah, I've been enlightened. Good. I feel enlightened because I didn't know so much that you guys had, even though I thought I knew enough. Every time I think I know a lot, I don't know anything. It was really cool. 
Uh, if you did like this video, give it a like you below. You're the best kind That'd of be aggressive guy. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys did like the video, please give it a big like below. Also, check out Lucy's channel, where she does fun time university style videos, right? I do. Also, be sure to subscribe to me, because I make new videos every Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Goodbye. Bye. Kids, capitalism. capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.